Hello and welcome back to the Wellness Check. I have a little friend with me today. This is Roxy and I am dog sitting and she's a little puppy and she's wonderful. So she might be making some noise in today's video. I'll try to cut it out as much as I can, but she's so cute and so loving. Today we are going to be talking about a protocol for EMDR for pain management. So did you know that there was a protocol for pain when it comes to EMDR? What's interesting about this protocol is that it entails a lot of the standard protocol, which we've talked about numerous times in my videos past, um, but it really specifies, or I, not specifies, it really tunes into the physical self, obviously. So we can develop pain for a lot of reasons, and it's important to know when using the pain protocol, if this pain is chronic, if this pain is acute, if this pain came from a trauma, or if this pain did not come from a trauma. So these are things that we want to um, explore and sort out before we start doing the EMDR because that can take it in a couple different directions. Obviously, if the pain, the physical pain, has come from a trauma, maybe like a motor vehicle accident, a motorcycle accident, um, a workplace injury, something like that, we're going to be kind of targeting not only the physical pain but the incident itself whereas maybe um, the pain is less trauma of origin and something maybe more developmental maybe there was something that a person was born with and now there's physical pain with that throughout their lifespan and then we want to look at the acuity of it too how long ago did this happen um, how bad is this pain? Where is it located in your body? How does it affect your life? There is a whole school of psychology just on the cognitive and psychological impact of physical pain. And those that live with physical pain know exactly what I'm talking about. Chronic physical pain. Is, it can just be debilitating and change the course of your life and your abilities and it can be very hard to manage. So I'm very thankful that there is a protocol for pain management with EMDR. And what I love about it, like I said before, it's a very somatic experience, meaning of the body. We're tuning into um, the areas of the body that have this pain and very non-judgmentally noticing, noticing the intricacies of this pain, maybe in a way that we're not used to doing day to day, looking at the attitude towards this pain. Um, so we, we ask questions during the desensitization phase about what is, what is the, the shape of this pain? What is the temperature of this pain? Does it have sharp edges? Does it sort of blur out and radiate to other parts of the body? What is your mind telling you about this pain? What does your mind remember about this pain? So we're, we're getting into a very somatic experience when it comes to exploring and understanding your physical pain. And we do go through pretty much kind of like a standard protocol with EMDR, but we're focusing on the body. Where is your body responding to that when you think about the pain or when you sense the pain? And we're really just going into the body rather than letting the mind kind of go into um, its memories and channels and things like that. So I hope this is good news for you guys that um, any of you who are experiencing chronic pain or even just acute pain and it's it's really impacting your life, isn't it cool that you can actually do EMDR desensitization and reprocessing on the pain itself? Maybe from the trauma induced with that pain? Um, maybe on just the daily experience of living with pain. It's really, really neat and it is helpful. I've done it with many clients in the past and it, even in one or two sessions, what I've seen is a decrease in the, in the pain that one's experiencing. And I think that's the most important part, right? We don't wanna just be in pain and then come to a therapy office and feel the pain in a different way and then go home and be in pain. We want it to really start to go away or feel more manageable and to feel like maybe we even have a sense of um, control over how we think about it, remember it, and manage it. Um, 
it's really, really amazing. It's cool to see someone come in with years and years of chronic pain to use this protocol and then to have them leave feeling lighter in their step, feeling lighter in their bodies, to notice the sources of pain really decrease. And then through the sessions, sometimes, depending on the origins and the causes of the pain, can even totally go away. It's really, really neat. So um, if you are looking for EMDR and if you are an individual that is suffering from chronic pain or acute pain that has just kind of changed the course of your life, ask your therapist about the EMDR pain protocol. I'm so glad there are these things available. It's amazing. Again, thank you for checking in with your wellness. I hope you have a great day. This little girl has been very good for the video. Look at her. Look at her. I think she's going to take a nap soon. She's sleepy. Want to say bye-bye? Thank you for checking in with your wellness. We'll see you soon.